I should really watch um, the documentary Surviving R. Kelly before I make any comment on this, but considering it doesn't have to directly to do just with R. Kelly, I think that I can, I can safely make a comment now um, saying that why are we pretending this is an R. Kelly thing? This is an entertainment industry thing. And I, I've blogged about this, I think, back in 2007. And I have made uh, videos about this uh, numerous times. This is an entertainment industry thing, not just, not just movies and film, not just movies and television, but also the, definitely the fashion industry. This is the entire entertainment industry. It has had pedophilic undertones and um, sort of subliminal pedophilic um, um, characteristics for for app for years for years i mean even in the movie the aviator um if you remember um you know um um um, Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, character, it, he, he's, you know, he's a famous director, everybody knows him, TWA, blah, 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 blah. Um, it was openly acknowledged and known that he was, you know, with 15-year-old girls. And, and you know, it, it's ironic that back in, like, the golden age of Hollywood, um, when he existed, um, you know, they tried to dress little girls up to look more like women. And now... Um, you know, when, when the hourglass figure was in. And now we try to get full-grown women who are in their 30s to uh, emaciate themselves, especially white women. Thank God that in the black and Latino co communities, um, full-grown, mature female bodies are still um, more respected and desired than the bodies of prepubescent girls, which is what these, you know, primarily white women force themselves into um, from a young age when they're 16, starving themselves, living off of smoothies and cigarettes so that they can emaciate themselves and never develop. And they have little, you know, breast buds instead of fully developed breasts, hips that don't round out so they can have this perpetual 13-year-old girl body. And I understand that legally and mentally they're over the age of 18 when they are over the age of 18. But does that make us not understand and see that we're still sexualizing the figure and the body of a little girl. Like that's what's sexy to us. And I've talked about this openly over and over and over again. And people bring up people like uh, R. Kelly because, you know, he's, he's a noted pedophile. He, you know, married Aaliyah, I think when she was just 13, something like that. I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy how, how people think that it's just about him. It's not just about him. It's this whole industry that for some reason for the past 30, 40 years has been obsessed with the body type of a prepubescent girl, of a girl who has not developed into womanhood. Now, I'm not trying to justify in any way, shape, or form because some girls develop early. And at 12 years old, they have a full round figure. And no, it's not okay to be sex, you know, sexualize them either because they're still little girls. Um, but... Generally speaking, in terms of human development, 12, 13, you still have a little girl's body. And this is what we sexualize. This is what we call sexy. This is what the models have. It's not about being skin guy, skinny, guys. It's not about being tall. It's about having a, a thigh gap. Who has that? No, like nobody, maybe a little wafy girl. No, nobody else has that. It's not a developed, mature woman's body that they're trying, they're forcing these models, models to simulate for years. It's a little girl's body, a little boy's body. Why does nobody talk about this? And here we are talking about uh, surviving R. Kelly. And it's like, R. Kelly's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the entertainment industry, obsessing over the bodies of little girls. And like, making that body type sexy. What man wants to have sex with a woman that looks like a little girl? You have to think about, no matter what age she is, what mindset do you have to be in to think it's hot to have a woman with no breasts, no ass, no hips, basically with a body of somebody who hasn't developed yet? And please don't tell me. I understand people are going to shout at me and saying, well, there's beauty in all kinds. and you. I understand that. I understand that Audrey Hepburn was one of the most beautiful beautiful stars in Hollywood, even till today. 
and she was very, very thin, but she openly acknowledged that her thinness came from starvation because her family was deprived during the war. They lived basically, during World War II, they lived basically off of one bowl of soup a day, and that's why she didn't develop correctly. And she acknowledges that. And that's the only way these women are actually keeping these figures into their mature years is because they starve themselves and don't allow their bodies to develop correctly. It's that simple. It's like there's no secret to it. It's been encouraged and influenced because some pervert, these perverted men want little girls. And they're saying that the only attractive female body type is a body type that simulates what they really want, which is to be having sex with little girls. It's this pedophilic tendencies. I told I blogged about this back way back in 2007 when my son had stepped out of the shower and I realized I had been looking at some magazine or something and I realized that his little boy body at seven years old had more in common with the models that I was looking at all sexied up with their bright red lipstick and stuff, but his body had more in common with their body than their bodies had in common with mine. And they're supposed to be representing women that are sexy. And that scared the shit out of me, as a mother especially. As a mother, I was just done. I was like, holy shit, why is this the popular body type? I, 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 let me... To everybody out there, R. Kelly is the tip of the iceberg. The whole entertainment industry is riddled with this obsession, obsession with youth, obsession with youth, defining what is beautiful by what is young. And remember, it's not just what is beautiful, it's what is sexy. It, it's what you want to date. It's what the popular look is to be sexualized. If it's that young then there's a, an issue. There's a sickness in these people's heads. I'm sorry, full-grown men should want a full-grown woman. Or if they're homosexual, they should want a full-grown man. They shouldn't want something that looks like a little boy. And if they do, they need a fucking psychiatrist. Because I believe everybody has a right to get help. But you definitely need to get help. If you are turned on by the body type of a young person something's fucking wrong with you it is i mean once upon a time young people used to want to look grown up that's why back in the 50s they used to have those like cone-shaped bras that everybody wore remember they were so funny but girls used to want to have the figure of a woman the, the fuller rounder figure and now everybody wants the body of a little girl it's not about skinny, guys. It's never been about skinny. It's been about simulating the body type of a prepubescent person. It's sick. It's sad. And R. Kelly is just the tip of the perversion that runs throughout the entire entertainment industry. Get a fucking clue. <laughs> like, wake the fuck up. And let's talk about that at large instead of just this one isolated openly and I think at this point convicted pedophile or whatever the technical term is because I think pedophile is being sexually attracted to children from the ages of like 5 to 10 and then there's something other kind of file between the ages of 10 to 15 and then there's another file between the ages of 15 to like 20 it's 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 broken up tech there are technical there's technical classifications of these levels of attraction and it goes all the way up to people who are attracted to people who are 80 and 90 years old so um I think the basic point is Anybody who's being attracted, and, and listen, that whole 18-year-old point, and I know the, po the porn industry exploits, exploits that all the time. Oh, she's 18. She usually has the body of a 12-year-old, but oh, she's 18. But we, listen, legally, okay, you passed it. You passed it, and we can't come after you, but we know what you're really looking at, and we know why you're really looking at it. And if, if the FBI isn't smart enough to have a trace on you anyway, then they're just not smart enough in general. Because, I mean, 18 is nothing. It's still a kid. 100%. I swear to God, if you take any 18-year-old person, male or female or undecided, in between anyone, any 18-year-old human being, and you um, x-ray them, you will see that they still have growth plates in their bodies. Their, their bones literally still have growth plates between them. They are not fully grown yet. They are not fully formed. 
And psychologically, we already know that their their brain will not come together and fully develop channels that help them control impulsivity till they're about 25. So for people to sexually exploit primarily, predominantly, especially in Hollywood, between the ages of 18 and 25, it is there's a certain level of sickness in that that I am sad that we have allowed to escape us and be okay for so long. And please let us not pretend that the whole, you know, 90s trend of women just being emaciated was not anything had that had anything to do with skinny has never been attractive. No offense to anybody who's naturally skinny, but skinny has never been attractive. It is 100% attracting people who are attracted to 15-year-old girls, 13-year-old girls, 14-year-old girls. And there are some people out here skirting the lines of, oh, I started dating her when, when she was 18 years old and I'm in my 40s and I'm supposed to pretend like something isn't sick and wrong with you? So please don't throw up that 18-year-old point because 18 is nothing. And I know it's legal. I get it. Like I said, oh, you skated past that line. But um, especially when she looks still, she's 18 technically, but she still has the body of a 12-year-old girl. Um, I know what you're really attracted to. We all know what you're really attracted to, and it's fucking gross. Just saying. Um, I do think this happens more in the Caucasian community than it does in the African-American and Latino community. Um, they still they still seem to celebrate the actual body of a, the mature, a mature woman's body. A mature, as in, even if you're naturally taller and slender, and there's all different variations of beauty. I understand that. Some of us have wider shoulders. Some of us have smaller breasts. But it, you're a consistently, no matter what body type you are, you're going to be fuller and rounder as you mature, especially if you're a female. It's just natural maturation. Unless you're starving yourself and living off of smoothies and cigarettes to avoid that kind of physical, physiological maturation which is what the entertainment industry, whether it's fashion, whether it's movies, whether it's television, um, it's what they encourage constantly. I swear to God, if Jennifer Lopez, one of the most beautiful women on this planet, if Jennifer Lopez were a white woman, she would have been forced to lose 25 to 30 pounds because she would, her figure would not have been accepted. Be, same thing with Beyonce. She would have been forced, if she was Caucasian, she would have been forced to lose 20 to 30 pounds or she would never have been given roles. That's just the fucking truth. For some reason, white men are absolutely obsessed with the bodies of 13-year-old girls. Fucking sick. And I know R. Kelly is a black man, so maybe I shouldn't call out color, but it does tend to be more of a trend in the Caucasian communities that they like the bodies of little girls. It's fucking nuts. Um, but like I said, beyond race... It's this proclivity of the entire entertainment industry to constantly be obsessing over the bodies of young people and defining beauty based on youth as opposed to just base it on beauty. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. It doesn't matter what age you are. It, there's a level of obsession. There's a level of body dysmorphia. There's a level of, it's just a level of sickness. There's a level of psychological imbalance and um, dis, like disharmony that is so obvious and nobody fucking talks about it. And now we're talking about just R. Kelly, just, just R. Kelly. It is not just R. Kelly. It has never been just R. Kelly. This goes back, Shirley Temple, black, Shirley Temple, black, because she was an adult when she gave the interview, was telling about a time when she, as a 12-year-old girl, was taken into a room all by herself and a man, just an executive, just flashed her. And she laughed at him. She laughed at him. That's what she said. She says, I laughed at him. And he covered himself up and she walked out the door. At 12 years old, she laughed at it. But Shirley Temple, at 12 years old, this was way back. This is like, what, 1930s, 1920s? So the entertainment industry has a history of a close ties with pedophilia. It's, it's been around forever, and nobody says anything about it. And now we talk about R. Kelly. Like it's this isolated thing that, that isn't, isn't going on and isn't being pushed upon us in pop culture. 
with the sexualization of ma- even if they're not young people, even if they're 18 years old, it's still a young body type. It's still a young body type. Remember the, all those Calvin Klein models, Kate Moss? Kate Moss looked like still looks like she's 12. Because bitches lives off cocaine and cigarettes and smoothies. Like, like, there's no way that's a body of you're eating all the time and you're eating. Like, I think, like, maybe 0.05% of the population has a kind of um, thyroid issue where they're just not going to gain weight no matter what age they are. But that's not a normal, that's not a normal occurrence. And I'm not saying that those people can't be beautiful either. I'm saying that there is, when it's pushed upon people and it's, it's, it's the common and the norm and the popular that we're supposed to value as, as beauty. You're not talking about accepting beauty in all people. You're talking about forcing a certain kind of sense of beauty on the, on, on the masses so that you can justify what you're attracted to and what you're attracted to is young people. We need to talk about that. We need to talk about beyond R. Kelly. We need to talk about the entire entertainment industry. We need to talk, we need to talk about the entire fashion industry and why 30-year-old women still have the bodies of 12-year-old girls. We need to talk about all of these things, not just R. Kelly. We, need, we can start the conversation with R. Kelly, but let's, let's move on and see that it, it goes throughout the entire entertainment industry. I mean, how does R. Kelly get away with R. Kelly get, got away with? If, if more people weren't guilty of it and trying to hide it and help him out. And same thing with Bill Cosby, same thing with Harvey Weinstein. If more people were, weren't knowing that they were doing up, up to the same thing or uh, attracted to the same thing or uh, somehow tied to or guilty of the same thing, why were so many people helping them? Think about it. Think about it. Because if you're really disgusted by it, you're going to call it out right away. And you're not going to be afraid to call it out. Talk about that.